How's it going, everybody? Today we're going to talk about ways to keep motivated during the summer. We all need sheet music, and we're proud to announce that we're working with Sheet Music Plus, home of the world's largest sheet music selection, and is a proud sponsor of the Flute Channel. Listeners will receive 15% off their order with the coupon code TFC15. So be sure to go and check out Sheet Music Plus for all your sheet music needs. And the coupon is good until July 31st, 2018. So I know in the summer sometimes we get a little bit tired, the year has gone by, we've done our pieces, we've done our auditions, we've done our competitions, we've done all those types of things, and we kind of maybe want to just lay down and uh, relax a little bit. But then we get that little voice in our head telling us, oh, we got to go and practice. But I want to tell you a couple ways that I and many others that I've spoken to in the past that have found ways to get motivated during the summer. One way is definitely to pick a piece to learn and play, something new that you can really work on during the summer, and maybe arrange a concert or two. A little concert, doesn't have to be long, could be a 20 minute concert, play for your friends, your family, of your previous music that you've played. Have a little goal for the summer. Continue that thing. Make it nice and chill, play, have fun. Another great thing is to go and take lessons with other teachers. You never know, your teacher might be gone for the summer, you might not have a teacher, and go look around in your city, go look around in your state, go look around in your, in your province, wherever you are, and take a couple lessons. Get a different perspective than what you've gotten throughout the whole entire year. Usually it's something fresh, new, makes you add a new layer to your playing, and it just makes you more motivated to practice throughout the summer. In addition, be sure to check out Google and look for music camps or flute camps in your state or somewhere uh, close by wherever you are, uh, those tend to be some of the best uh, places to go and learn lots of music in a nice calm environment usually. And that's definitely one thing that I tell everyone I know is go to a summer program, try something new out, meet new people, play music, have fun, and learn some more. And usually if you go to a big festival, you can pay an auditor fee, which means you can just observe, much like you would observe a class in university. You would have an auditory class, so you can sit there and not take any of the tests or anything like that. In this case, you just sit there and you listen. Maybe you ask a couple questions or you just listen in. And usually those are a bit cheaper than the participant uh, fees. One other great thing is go and see concerts. There are a lot of free summer music concerts for classical music or for chamber music or any type of music that you're playing regarding the flute rather and go and see go and watch go and listen hear what the sound is like get motivated listen to your favorite pieces live if they're being performed and for me i know when i go to the symphony or if i go and see a chamber music uh, recital my gears start going and i want to you know prepare a new piece or i want to go and practice right away or i want to practice the next day and learn that piece or learn something new and uh call my friends and play some chamber music, you know. I know summer, it's a large amount of time. I get overwhelmed. Well, I have so much things I could practice. What could I practice? Do I have to practice everything? I would advise make one big goal about your playing, whether it's rhythm, whether it's sight reading, whether it's tone. Work on that one element a lot, as well as your pieces and all those other things, and really hone down and try to get it uh, within your understanding. Make a spot for yourself for 15 minutes, three to four times a week. Leave your flute out. Make a little zone that's your practice zone for the summer where you can go and just grab your flute, look at your stand, play your music. It could be by a window. It could be beside your piano. It could be beside your couch, beside your TV while you're watching Netflix. Summers are usually jam-packed with so many other things to do and just finding 15 minutes three or four times a week can really keep you grounded on your flute playing and get your brain still into that sound and all those things and it just it's like doing your daily stretches and finally i think finding a duet partner or finding a trio partners finding people in your band in school or finding friends or finding groups or collectives around town that are looking for a flutist or have friends that play music come to your house and sight read and play have fun you know do some chamber music learn some new music sight read that usually for me when i was a teenager and when I was starting on flute I loved playing flute duets with my friends we would always have a set time to go and learn this music and it motivated me to practice all the time to get to know the piece get to know my sight reading to get better 
and all those things. Plus, small ensemble playing is some of the best things to do for your ears when you're learning a, an instrument. So let me know down in the comments, what are your favorite tips, tricks to stay motivated in the summer? What are your favorite things to do in the summer? Let me know down in the comments, I would love to know. And if you like this video, be sure to hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to the Flute Channel where we have lots of videos and live streams every week. And until next time, thanks for watching.